Hey, YouTube family, Auntie is here. It's Curls, it's Scoop. We're so ready for the weekend. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture. It's not cute not knowing. And now you're going to know. Let's get this hug in. There's so many re different reports coming out about Jamie Foxx. Could it have been a stroke? Could it have been an aneurysm? We know it had something to do with some kind of brain bleed, and that's what both of them are, particularly a stroke. His family is asking for privacy, and I think because he was near wrapping a Netflix movie back in action with Cameron Diaz, they have like eight days more filming. They will probably have to do it without him by using stand-ins, maybe old footage, just things like that so they could wrap up this movie. The family is asking for prayers and privacy, and people have been pouring out their prayers. 55 years old. Is it uncommon for someone in their 50s or younger to suffer a stroke? No, it's not. I'm a stroke survivor, an eight-year stroke survivor, and I suffered a stroke when I was 51 years old. Anything could bring it on. Anything could bring an aneurysm on. But we keep him in prayers. You you see Jamie laughing, so super talented. Can you recover from an aneurysm or a stroke? Yes, you can. But it takes a little time. And it takes a whole lot of prayers. And our prayers go out to his family. Britney Spears, the pop star, is ready to tell all. She got $15 million dollars from her publishing company to write this book, which is coming out this fall. She goes from the days in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse as a Disney star, to being a pop superstar, to dating Justin Timberlake, the period where she shaved her head, where her family had to take over with the conservatorship and just, just everything. They say it's gonna be shocking and mind blowing, but one wonders how much truth will be, how far will she go? to tell her truth in this book. But Britney Spears is ready to tell all. The book is coming this fall. Yesterday, I was telling you about the daughter of the late soap opera star, Christoph St. John. We lost him back in 2019, and he had his periods of depressions and trouble. Well, his 30-year-old daughter, Paris St. John, she was the one who was arrested for stripping naked and meditating in a supermarket. After they convinced her to put some clothing on, she was arrested. Well, during that period to getting her in a jailhouse, she tried to escape again, and they had to subdue her and take her down. 30 years old, they're trying to see what's, what's going on. Her mother is Mia St. John. Mia St. John is a boxer. She is a mental health advocate and this family has been troubled for quite some time it was years ago that justin st john 24 years old that young man committed suicide but we pray all is well and goes well for paris st john and that whole st john family the family just a history of mental illness amazon is going to be adding a lot of tv shows remember Reese Witherspoon and Legally Blonde, that's going to become a TV show. They'll get a new star, obviously. Remember the Barbershop movies, that's going to become a TV series. Let's go back to the 80s with fame. That's going to be made into a TV series. So they, they just signed a deal where Amazon will not only be doing movies, but they're going to be doing a lot of TV spinoffs. This is Tax Weekend. Little Kim has settled with Uncle Sam. She owed a lot of money to Uncle Sam in unpaid taxes to the tune of $1.4 million. And that tax bill has been paid. And a big congratulations to Queen Latifah. She is the first female rapper added to the National Recording Registry. This is where they just take songs that have come out in history. And they're citing her very first album. Everybody doesn't get in, but what an honor it is for Queen Latifah. And she just wrapped up filming her CBS show, The Equalizer. I hope you guys have a great weekend. We do have a weekend edition, so do check that out. 
young lady, LaShawna Simon, puts it all together. Today is short and sweet as we are ready to jump into the weekend. But if you follow me on Instagram, it's WDAS Patty. A lot of highlights of things that are going on. So make sure that you check me out there. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Want to hear from you. Hope you check out the weekend edition. It's not cute, not knowing. And now, you know. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.